and welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to display native ads from google ad mob inside a native android application so let's get started so first i will show you the output of the video so here you can see this is a part of uh, this is uh, how a native ad looks like and the bottom pop up which you see that ad mob native ad validator like this is only for test ads it won't be displayed for uh, you know production ads so this is helpful because if there are any issues in your native ad it will help you show you any uh, issues so currently there are no issues in my uh, native ads so if i will just dismiss this and this is how your native ad will look like so the video status which you see at the top i have just taken a label just a text view and i'm just uh, saying whether this ad contains a video or not so currently this ad does not contain a video and there are few things which you have to take care of uh, at the top right corner top left corner sorry you might be seeing a text view saying ad so that is mandatory which you have to do and also don't uh, show anything at the top right corner because in pro for production ads google will automatically display a google ads icon at the top right corner so don't show anything the rest of the ui you can uh, display it uh, however you want so that is the advantage of native ads as compared to banner ads or interstitial ads banner ads and interstitial ads you can't really manipulate it but native ads you can manipulate it however you want to but there are uh, like i mentioned uh, you have to consider few things like the top left and top right corner are reserved so let's get started so first uh, i have created a native android application next you have to add this dependency so i will go to project build.gradle.kts and here you can see that i have added this dependency next you have to go to android manifest and you have to add this metadata tag and make sure you replace this by this so this is a test id later on in the video i will show you how to create a production id so go to android manifest and here you can see i have added this metadata tag next uh, here we have to initialize our mobile ads sdk as well so i have gone to the uh, gone over here and here i have defined the mobile ads sdk and this stack overflow post if you want you can go through it like it all it mentions is that the top right corner should be reserved and uh, because uh, it will be displayed by google's ad icon in production okay for test ad you won't see it so if you want you can just uh, go through that uh, stack or for post okay next i will go to implement native ads and uh, here uh, first you can see we have have to add this ad loader again this is a test id later on you will have to replace with the production id and here you can see i have created a loader and here i am initializing our loader so he, you can ignore this stuff for now the else clause just concentrate on this so here you will get a native ad once it has been uh, initialized properly so ignore this and here i have added one listener so if you want a fail uh, if ad loads to fail you can uh, do any kind of logging or something and here i have added this native ad options and just build it and here you can see i'm loading our native ads so if you go to the documentation that what is says native ad options and here you can see it has added this listener and here they are loading the ad now there are two way to load the ad so here you can see i am just using ad loader dot load but if you are using ad loader dot loads ad load ads uh, then you can also pass how many uh, ad you want to load i found this a little complicated because if i try to use this option here i am only getting one ad so i'm little confused on whether this is uh, only for test ad or whether it is for production ad as well in i'm not sure if, if in production you will get multiple ads or not uh, and also i couldn't find any way of refreshing this mechanism okay so that's why i'm using this but if you are okay with this you can use this next uh, so this is what it is saying and here you can see uh, here you will get an uh, callback so if the ad, ad loader dot is loading that means it is still loading the ad so if you want you can add a callback over here as well or display your ui according to that and here in else clause the ad has been properly loaded next here it says that uh, if it is destroyed you should release the resources so here you can see i have done that over here 
okay uh, next you have to enable the hardware acceleration as well so here inside android manifest i have added it to my application as well as to the activity which is using this ad next okay now there are multiple types of ad while displaying it so in this video i will only show you small and medium size ads uh, in uh, future videos i will cover full screen ads as well as native templates so first what you what it says is that you have to create a separate layout file to display a native ad view and it should be a root view and inside that you can add whatever you want so if you see over here i have created an xml file called add unified.xml and this should be your root view okay so com.google.android.gms.ads native ad dot native ad view and inside that you can add anything so however you want your ad to be designed so this is how but this again top right corner should be fixed so that's just that is fixed for me okay and here you can see i have taken an image view then i have also taken some rating bars then uh, if you see my output over here uh, okay where did my output go okay i'll just run it again so anyways but you have already seen the output so here you can see the output again and you can compare it so here is the image view for app add icon so the ad is still loading any minute now okay so you here you can see the ad now here i have taken this image view which you see this then i have taken this text view as well which you see this then i have taken another text view for this ad advertiser thing then there is this rating bar as well uh, for this and then we have this ad body stay up to date uh, then i have this media view so this media view will help us to display any video if any otherwise it will just display an image uh, next uh, i have taken another text view which you see at the bottom then there is another text view which is the google play one and there is one button to display to install the ad the uh, okay and you don't have to uh, write like any click listener for this so i'll just go over here okay i'll minimize this so i will just show you the xml layout again so if you want you can pause the video or if you want uh, in the documentation as well at the bottom they have given a resource link so if you want you can co copy it from the kotlin part so this is uh, how it is okay if you are curious you can pause the video at the appropriate time and copy paste this uh, thing okay uh, now let's see what's the next step so i have displayed this then here we have to inflate our layout view as well as call this populate native view which we have to write so if you see my activity underscore main i have just taken a text view as well as a frame layout and this frame layout will help us to display this native ad okay now if you see inside my main activity i have created this frame layout as well as our text view and i have initialized both of them and once the ad loads we are calling layout inflator dot inflate pass the xml file name add unified and cast it as native ad view then call this method populate native view which i will show you the implementation for and pass it the native view as well as the ad view and here inside frame layout i am removing all views as well as adding our view which is ad view okay now if you see populate native view firstly i am initializing all our text views as well as this media views buttons rating bars over here so you just have to do that you can get the id from this file itself next i am assigning our native ad view dot media view equal to add media uh, then native ad view dot headline equal to equal to headline you can't just write headline uh, sorry uh, uh, add headline dot text equal to this you have to first do this okay so native ad view dot headline equal to add headline body view equal to add body call to action view equal to add call to action this kind of stuff so that's what i have done over here then you can assign proper add headline dot text equal to native add dot headline then here i am assigning our media content to uh, to our add media 
and here i am checking whether the if the body is null then make that add body as invisible otherwise show the body uh, and display the text as well same for call to action as well same for icon same for price same for store same for star rating as well and same for advertiser as well and last this is an important step so you here you will have to write native ad view dot set native ad uh, native ad okay and here i am just checking whether there is any video inside our native ad as well or not if not then just display inside my text view that okay there is no video if yes i am just displaying a message as well okay and also one more thing if you are if once you are running the application if you are not seeing this add mom native ad validator that means you have done something wrong even if there are no issues you should see this add mom native ad validator as long as it is a test id for production id you won't see it so yeah i think uh, that's it thank you for watching bye production ad units so all you have to do is just go to your apps if you don't have an app just click on add app android i don't have my app published on play store i'll just click on continue i'll give it some name maybe second app okay i will add app uh, then i'll click on done then i'll just click on add add unit select native ad advanced give some name i don't know first native i guess give name which makes sense to you and just click on create ad unit and here you will get your ad units now uh, if you want to uh, later on link your native ad uh, like native android app uh, to the play store so once you deploy it to play store you can i think go to app settings as well and here you can uh, add those app store details if you want to so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye